ya <coughs> ladies and gentlemen mabibi na mabwana karibuni tena kwenye vichekesho nao tuona hapa wote hapa mbele ni wafanyabiashara wa vichekesho na mimi ni mmoja kati ya wafanyabiashara wenzangu wa vichekesho na tuna jambo letu ambalo tunataka kulifanya tarehe moja uh, mwezi huu hapa watatu maeneo ya Kimagaden kwa hiyo mimi kama Shayo nimeamua kuungana na marafiki zangu ambao wako kwenye hii tasnia ya vichekesho watanisindikiza lakini tarehe moja March nina event inaitwa Swahili Comedy Club kwa Shayo kwa hiyo huu ni mwaliko wa wazi kwa watanzania wote na wapenzi wa vichekesho na waalika jamani biashara tunaofanya ndio hii kulingana na hali ya uchumi mambo ni mengi mnapitia vitu vingi wa Tanzania kwa hiyo nachukua nafasi hii kuwakaribisha kuja Ijumaa ya tarehe moja hapa Ikima Garden kuangalia vichekesho kutakuwa kuna vitu vingi kutakuwa kuna love music kunakuwa na acoustic mambo ya band kutakuwa na comedians and i will be the host nita host event kuanzia mwanzo paka mwisho kwa ambao mnafahamu vile nafanya mnajua kwa hiyo hizi ni movements tunaendelea niko na comedians wenzangu hapa kuna mwingine ni Nigeria <laughs> mtamsikia yes labda kama nimeongea vibaya mniambie niombe msamaa <laughs> si leo au nianze upya eh Mhm. Ah kwanza ni movement kwa sababu uh, show ambazo tunazo hapa ni, ni show ni platform. Tuna fla, tuna platform mbalimbali ambazo zina zina zinaendesha shughuli za uchikishaji wima. Uh, lakini hii ni movement kama mnavyoona mimi nimeamua kuwa solo. Kama mnavyojua nilikuwa kwenye platforms ka badha, baadhi miaka ya nyuma nikatoka nilikuwa cheka tu nikatoka nikaenda watubaki nikatoka. So Nikaona sio vyema nikaamua kupambana mwenyewe. Kwenye ya maisha inabidi mtu ifike mahali upambane mwenyewe, uone unapata vipi ugali wako mwenyewe. Mapambano ya kundi sometimes ni mazuri lakini sometimes yanaweza akakufikisha sehemu ambayo ukapata lawama ambayo labda ukailaumu kundi. Lakini it's good to fight alone kama vile mimi nafanya. Kwa hiyo create my own platform hapa. Nitakuwa naalika marafiki zangu. Na mimi nipambane kwenye hii tasnia ya comedy kwa hiyo naamini Tanzania wote ambao walikuwa wananifuatilia kwenye platform hizo zote natangaza rasmi sipo kwenye platform nyingine yoyote ninapatikana Swahili Comedy Club ambayo Swahili Comedy Club ina show yake inafanyika hapa Ikima Garden tarehe moja mwezi wa tatu so na wa invite wa Tanzania wote mje jamani mcheke kutakuwa kuna burudani mbalimbali kutakuwa kuna stand up comedians walio nisindikiza marafiki zangu lakini kutakuwa kuna music kidogo hapa Ikima mambo ya live kutakuwa kuna mashairi lakini pia kuna msosi mzuri na vinywaji kwa hiyo ukija hapa show inaanza saa moja na nusu unaweza ukafika hapa ukapata kinywaji chako tukaendelea na event ukapata kuagiza msosi wako kwa unaendelea kuenjoy vichekesho so na waalika ndugu zangu wachaga na watanzania wote mnaoishi Dar es Salaam jamani mje mtoke Kimara na sehemu zote mje mfurahie vichekesho labda ni watambulishe mhm uh, nitakuwa na ndugu yangu huyu ni comedian all the way from Arusha anaitwa Clayton Sosa uh, this is my brother anaitwa Kevin Pam uh, asili yake ni Nigeria kwa hiyo kwa wale ambao hujawahi kumuona on stage watamuona this friday tarehe moja ata perform a little bit ya Kiingereza kidogo kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu ambaye hajui Kiswahili anaweza akaja pia Kevin Pam atamchekesha kwa Kiingereza lakini ataongea na Kiswahili kidogo so Kevin Pam is here <laughs> teacher Paul na Dikomi Kijumatano as you know them so mimi nawakaribisha wa Tanzania wote it's time now to support your own kama ni muda ambao ulikuwa unatamani kunisupport unatamani kununua product yangu this is the time now Unaweza kaja Jumaa Ikima Garden hapa. You pay the ticket ticket ni 15000 kwa regular na VIP shilingi 25000. So mimi nawakaribisha sana na wapenda sana na I can't wait you to make you laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Mhm. Ah mimi uh, since nina nina show yangu hii mwenyewe mimi ndo nitakuwa na host mwenyewe. Kwa hiyo mimi nitakuwa throughout kuanzia mwanzo paka mwisho wa event. Unaona? Kwa hiyo I'll be making jokes throughout lakini nitakuwa na invitees. Unajua eh? Wachikishaji wenzangu watanisindikiza. Unaona? Hawatakuwa idadi kubwa ya watu lakini still pia tuna idadi nyingine ya wachekeshaji ambao wamkuwahi kuwaona platform zingine hizo zote ambao pia wanahitaji nafasi wanahitaji kupanda kwenye stage kwa mara ya kwanza kwa pia stage yangu itakuwa ni sehemu ambayo pia watu watakuwa wanapanda kwa mara ya kwanza comedians wapi ambao Tanzania hawajawahi kuwaona watapata pia nafasi kwa hiyo sijui nimekujibu Um, show ya peke yako kwa, kwa stand up comedy ukifanya show ya peke yako it means unafanya comedy special. Umeona eh? Hiyo inakuwa kama unatoa album kama wanamuziki wanaofanya. Kwa hiyo hii sio comedy special. Hii ni Swahili Comedy Club. It's a club ambayo ina comedy comedians tofauti tofauti. Unanielewa? Kuna changamoto nyingi ambazo zinaendelea kwenye industry yetu ya stand up comedy. Kwa hiyo mimi nimeziona na nimeona ni nichukue nafasi hii kuzirekebisha na kuona namna gani naweza nikafanya kwa usahihi ili comedians wapate nafasi nzuri ya ku present jokes zao wapate treatment nzuri wapate na kupambania malipo yao kwa sababu hatuwezi tu tukaishia kufurahia kuchekesha watu na watu wakafurahi lakini comedians wanahitaji kulipa bills wanahitaji kuendesha maisha yao kwa hiyo ni sehemu nyingine ambayo pia eh, comedians watapata nafasi ya kupata kipato Mm. Aha. E kimagade ni iko mikocheni. Uh, mikocheni kama unaifahamu mikocheni kwa mawaziri. Sio mbali. Mikocheni kwa mawaziri ukiulizia tu mtu ya Kimagade ana anakufikisha. Sasa ukataja ITV. Kituo cha ITV. <laughs> eh? Kwa mawaziri, si ndio? Eh. eh, eh. Nimekujibu vizuri. Okay. Mm. Uh, tofauti unaweza usijione kwa nje lakini tuna tofauti nyingi ambazo tunazirekebisha ambao ni internal. Unanielewa? Sababu paka unavumwana comedian anafanya kwenye stage kuna mambo mengi yanafanyika kwenye background. Na mimi nimekuwa sehemu ya hizo changamoto. Nimepita kwenye platform zote kuna mambo mengi ambayo hatuwezi kuyataja lakini nimeamua kuwa sehemu ya kufanya mabadiliko at least comedian afanye kazi yake kwenye mazingira ambayo yeye mwenyewe atakuwa na uhakika kwamba atapata chochote na anakuwa na treatment nzuri si unanielewa uh-huh. yes ataongea uh-huh. Ata... <laughs> okay Welcome Kevin Pam. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, for me it's, uh, it's 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 it helps me to diversify my art and uh, it creates um, a platform for me to be able to relate to Tanzania in my own way. And um, we try to cross the cultures because I intend to have uh, comedians from here go to West Africa as, as well. So by the time we start traveling and exchanging cost- culturally from what we know and the experiences we have in these various places we will be able to understand Africa as one you know because Africa were the same you know so if if same this child travels to Ghana or Nigeria he will pick jokes that even me in Nigeria I may not see because he will compare it to Tanzania and when he comes here he's he is more exposed he has you know better understanding of the, the the people in Nigeria and how to make it funny to express that to the people in Tanzania so um that's for me that's the kind of learning I'm here to learn because most times when comedians are, are talking and people are laughing and I don't really understand the Swahili I ask what is he talking about and they explain the joke to me and for me it's new and it's really entertaining 
and I think it's the same way when I'm cracking jokes too, people get to understand people get to understand Nigeria from what I say and the stories I give. So for me it's a learning curve for both the people listening and for me. Comedy or Swahili show? Yeah. Comedy. Yeah. No, I've been doing comedy in Tanzania for three years, over three years. We performed on uh, different stages, punchline, from punchline to 12.45 to CEO roundtable. Even in the Shayo's last show, I was here. And it was, it was my first Swahili show. And uh, at, at some point, I was wondering how I communicate, if people would really feel. But it, 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 it went really well, and I'm looking forward to the next one because... I intend to perform in places like Arusha, Mwanza, Dodoma, you know, where there are heavy Swahili speakers. So now I'm upping my Swahili game. I'm trying to understand more of Swahili so that I can put more of Swahili in my sets. So, uh, Utofauti wa Swahili Comedy Club na platform zikine upo. Lakini uh, kwa ninachofahamu kwa research yangu platforms zizoko bado hazitoshi kwa accommodate wateja lakini pia platforms zizoko haziwezi kwa accommodate comedians wote kwa sababu stage kama nyingine zina accommodate comedian kama nane tisa na ukiangalia sasa hivi kuna stand up comedians wengi wengi ambao wako kwenye lineup ya platform tofauti na ambao hawana stage sehemu yoyote ya kuperform Kwa hiyo tukienda ku, tukiendelea kungangania kufanya na platform zile zile maana ni kwamba kuna comedians hautakaa kuwaona kwenye stage. Wengi wapo na wengine wanatafuta nafasi na hawapati nafasi. Kwa hiyo Dar es Salaam ina Tanzania wengi wanaoishi na ni sehemu nyingine ya stage ambayo tutaweza ku reveal comedians wengine wapya ambao walikuwa wanakosa nafasi sehemu nyingine zote. Kwa hiyo ni kama fursa na sehemu ya ya ku practice talent kwa watu wengine ambao wanakosa nafasi sehemu nyingi. Sio kwamba tumetoka watu baki. Tupo watu baki lakini kwa sababu ni mshikaji wetu anafanya the same thing the same business ana biashara yake yes ah niangalia huko okay thank you so tunachokifanya hatujatoka watu baki tupo watu baki watu baki ni platform mama huyu mwenzetu yuko somewhere ana biashara yake kama hiyo kwa hiyo ni kwamba kuna terms ambazo zina apply kwamba tunamsindikiza ku support show yake hii na sometimes tuna enjoy kwamba Audience inayo kuwepo huku sometimes ni kwa tofauti na kule. Show ambayo utaiandaa Masaki ni tofauti na audience ambayo ta, pengine utaandaa show Ilala au utaandaa show Temeke. Kwa hiyo sipendi unapata engagement ya audience mpya. Kwa basically tuna support rafiki yetu kwenye event yako kama harusi tu mshikaji wako na harusi wapambe hatukosekani. Sisi ndo wapambe sasa tunachagiza event ya rafiki yetu Shayo. Kwa nataka kusema Shayo anaolewa. Hapana, mimi sio tofauti wapya na ambao wamejawahi ku experience kwenye stage. Kwa hiyo mimi nawakaribisha tu tarehe moja. Kikubwa labda kama kuna a uh, stand up comedy Tanzania ongea <laughs> kabisa haiwezi siwezi nikasema inalipa kwa sababu bado niseme tu kwa uwazi hailipi <laughs> bado tunatengeneza mazingira ili iweze kulipa that's why unaniona na mimi sija relax huko sehemu zote nilizokuwa unaona <laughs> mpaka sasa hivi najipambania hivi nina maana natafuta namna ili iweze kulipa si ndio na kutafuta mazingira mazuri ya comedians wenzangu waweze kupata hiyo hela ambayo wanaitaka. <coughs> si ndio? Um, bado hatujaweza kuwa na na uchumi mzuri kwa stand up comedians kwa sababu uh, ya namna pia labda ya uendeshaji wa platforms hizo zingine. Unajua sometimes focus inakuwa sio kwa comedians, focus inakuwa kwa wamiliki wa platform. Unaona? 
Kwa hiyo hata ikipatikana fursa mara nyingi eh, anayeangaliwa labda ni wamiliki wa platform lakini sio comedians ambao ndio engine ya ya, ya, ya show. Kwa hiyo kuna hiyo shida na stand up kila mtu anajua ni kitu kinachofahamika. Bado hali ya uchumi ya stand up comedians sio nzuri. Kwa hata what I'm doing ni kwamba I'm trying to make it right. Kuhakikisha kwamba napata hela na wenzangu wanapata hela ambao wanahitajika kupata. Sio kuambia kwa promise leo kesho leo kesho leo kesho na kwa sababu wenzangu wanapenda kufanya wanachokifanya unakuta mtu mtu anaendelea tu kufanya. Kwa hiyo mtu unakuta unapata tu hela ya kujaza vitu kwenye friji na umeme na luku na kubadilisha tu soksi lakini <laughs> watu hawapati hela inayohitajika wapate kwa sababu mara nyingi tunafanya kazi za kuonekana na ndugu zetu wanatuona kwa hiyo tukiendelea kufanya kwa muda mrefu alafu atupati kile ambacho tunapata na kuhudumia familia zetu tunaonekana tunafanya kitu cha ajabu wanawake wapo sema tu leo ni emergency tu wameshindwa kuwepo yes tuna tuna wanawake kama watatu tuna tayar kutoka Zanzibar na kuna mwingine anaitwa Madam V. Yes, mtamuona kwenye stage tarehe moja. Yes. Ah uh, yes mimi mimi as nilivyosema mwanzo mimi si changamani na upande wowote wala sitaki kutengeneza kikundi cha watu wa bodi la wabiliki kudeliona mimi natengeneza stage ambayo itakuwa ni fursa ya comedian yoyote ambaye hajabanwa na mtu yoyote so i'm a free platform lakini kama itatokea mtu ata grow kwenye platform yangu it's fine atajulikana kwamba ametokea pale lakini tofauti tu ni kwamba simbani mtu yoyote wala sitaki kumiliki mtu yote. Mimi nafanya kazi na comedian yoyote ambaye hajawa na mkataba wala hajabanwa na mtu mwingine yoyote huko nje. Kwa hiyo ni platform ambayo inapokea ni kama daladala. Yeah. Naam. Yes. Hapana tuwachanganye uh, kama tulivyosema kwamba stage bongo bado zipo chache. Kwa hiyo kuna watu hata hizi ratiba za shows zinapokuwa ukiangalia hamna collision kwa maana sisi tulifanya last month uh, tarehe 23 ehe uh, uh, huyu anafanya tarehe moja Kwaweza kutata mtu audience kuna wale wengine wanatamani kwamba tarehe fulani alimiss au kuna mwingine anataka ahudhurie zote kama mmesema unaweza kawa huku kuna audience ya ya masaki inaweza kawa ni mpya baadhi ya watu wakawa ni wapya kwa sababu sisi tunapenda kuongeza audience mpya kuingeji na watu wapya kila siku kwa watu wachanganye kwa hiyo anayekuja huku anayenijua ananijua anakuja na chapa matiro mapya sirudi nitakaye kuwa utubaki tena na chapa matiro mapya sirudi kwa hiyo yule anayekuwa utubaki ananiona akija huku tena mwingine ananiona Kariya yetu ina yeye ina base ina foundation stand up comedy ina foundation na ukiwa stand up comedian ni lazima uweze kuwa na programs ambazo zina support hiyo 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 kazi kwa maana lazima uwe una rehearsals 
lazima uwe una sehemu ya kwenda kufanyia mazoezi lazima uwe una namna ambayo una stage ambayo una perform mara kwa mara ya kukufanya uwe bora kwa hiyo uwezi ukatoka tu kufanya labda unaposema challenge mtandaoni au kuwa like content creator ukasema unafanya uh, comedy show a stand up comedy show is something else umeona kwa hiyo uh, ukisema uki, uki, uki kila mtu anaweza kaandaa event kila mtu anaweza kaandaa show lakini uwezi kuwa content creator ukaandaa uka content creator ni tofauti na stand up comedian watu vichekesho vya online ni tofauti na hivi vya stage hivi vya on stage vinafanyika live umeona kwa hiyo uh, wale content creator sio stand up comedians ni watu ambao labda wana talent ya kuandaa event unajua unaweza ukawa una kipaji cha kuandaa vizuri event lakini sio kipaji cha kufanya performance kwa hiyo <laughs> yeah they need to have time to to build their performance ability unanielewa eh naweza nikasema wanatuchafua <laughs> wanatuchafua hawataki kufata procedures kwa sababu procedures sio tu uweze kuwa na maandalizi mazuri sio tu uweze kufanya picha nzuri za nje ni lazima wale watu unaowaita uwape product ambao wamekuja kujinunua umeelewa na audience wa stand up comedy wanaelewa sio wajinga wakija wanajua kabisa hii show kweli imerembwa vizuri kuna mapambo mazuri lakini content hamna na kitu ambacho kinainua uh, event nzuri ya stand up comedy ni kuwa na content nzuri content ndio kikubwa content ndio engine ya show kwa hiyo kama utaweka mapambo mazuri content itakuwa poor it means bado haujaweza kufanya unachotakiwa kufanya nimejibu vizuri <laughs>